This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers discussion here on the channel. Today it's my great pleasure to finally, well, record the first official video of the playoff run here on the channel. Of course, you might have caught the uh, car edition that we did live from somewhere in Calgary earlier today, but it is a great time to finally sit down in the studio tonight and get ready to talk to you about this Edmonton Oilers playoff run we have at long last after September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. About eight and a half months, we are finally here and ready to rock what will be the next few months of Edmonton Oilers hockey, hopefully taking us right to that rock of the district or whatever the heck that rock concert with all those Canadian rock bands when that's happening on that weekend in June. You know what I'm talking about. I don't need to waste any more of your time. Friends, if you're new to the channel, joining me for the playoff run, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button because simply you will get the content faster. You will get the live streams notified. You will get everything you need to know about Dolany TV and the Edmonton Oilers playoff run by hitting that subscribe button. It's free, I tell you, simple, done and dusted. I'm not going to bug you any further the rest of this video about that, but what do we know? Well, I told you today that this video would be coming out, or yesterday, that this video would be coming out later because of one thing. There was still a game to be played that mattered for something, and that is the Colorado Avalanche, and they had to figure out what the heck they were doing while the Vegas Golden Knights take home Pacific one and of course the well western conference title as well and the winnipeg jets their opponent so whoever comes out of that series will be the edmonton oilers opponent in round two i say that ominously because if i go betting on the vegas golden knights the jets will get it done and we know what the jets have done in the first round of the playoffs against a team very near and dear to our hearts here in the past what three years yeah i don't need to remind you about 2021 do i I don't need to remind myself. Either way, the Dallas Stars take home the central position two against the Minnesota Wild. So that is the central division matchup. And then the Los Angeles Kings take home Pacific Division number three, which is exactly where they were last year. The Edmonton Oilers take home the two spot. That's exactly where we were last year, despite this year being a better year. 50 wins, let's go. And the Colorado Avalanche take home the division crown in the Central to face the wild card Seattle Kraken. So that is what you need to figure out. Will it potentially have the Kraken against the Stars or uh, Wild or the Avalanche against the Stars or Wild, really to break it down simply? It's a battle of the North Stars against the new North Stars, if you want to say, uh, however you want to say, the old Minnesota team against the new Minnesota team. But that's not what we're here to talk about, right? We're obviously here to talk about and feature the Edmonton Oilers versus LA Kings. And I just want to flash back to pretty much the start of the year and go out and say, you know, of course I was out on a limb when I said it was cu cup or bust for the Edmonton Oilers at the start of the year. But for me, right, is knowing what I've gone through this season, knowing what I've achieved here on YouTube this season, and what we have built together as a community on YouTube for the Oilers space, is that would not have happened if the Oilers were a lottery team. I will promise you that much. Winning changes everything. I know that's a famous quote and a lot of stuff, but winning changes everything for this team, and it has this year, right? As we've gone through the years of continual frustration, whether it be against Chicago in 2020, whether it be against Winnipeg in 2021, like I said, I wasn't going to remind you. Last year, getting all the way to the Western Conference Finals, then getting swept by the Colorado Avalanche. And then suddenly this year, you know what I said, we were going to follow up last year with an even better year. And you know what? Right away, the results were not showing that that was going to be the case. The Oilers, again, chose another year to finish very, very, very strong and put up some numbers that we have not seen the likes of since Gretzky, Lemieux, those days back in the NHL. So to think about that, I think the uh, combined power play goals and combined um, uh, shorthanded goals leading the league in both of those stats hasn't been done since before uh, the Edmonton Oilers even made the playoffs for the first time or some, somewhere right around there, right? That's, that's how long ago we're talking about some of these records 
that the Oilers put up this season. And when I said cup or bust, could I have ever even imagined how special this season would be? And I mean, last year was special for a lot of dang reasons, whether it be Jay Woodcroft coming in the NHL, whether it be getting to see Stuart Skinner in his first full bit of action there are those 13 games obviously you can't go without mentioning the Ben Stelter run and everything there is just the energy was absolutely unreal last year and I mean the best part is we get to continue that forward this year but last year there was a lot to make you a hockey fan and I want to say this right off the hop because I wish to be saying it in game whatever the heck when we have a chance to clinch the Stanley Cup at the second intermission when we know we've got to put to bed. You know what? If you have joined the Oilers fandom for the first time this year, and this is the team you get to enjoy as the team that introduces you to the beauty of being an Oilers fan, welcome to it. I mean, I can honestly tell you I've been right there with you back in 0506, right? That team going all the way to the cup final and doing what they did and just falling that much short to the Carolina Hurricanes. Honestly... If you get half as memorable of a playoff run out of this team as that team did, and this is your first go-around watching NHL hockey, whether you're 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years old, or whether you be just moving from some other place in the world, never heard of the NHL, and you know what, this is your first year watching hockey, and you know what, you are coming into it just slowly throughout the season, and the Oilers have put this together for you. I cannot imagine how special that would be, but I can be right there with you because I have been on some very similar course before, and that is why I sit before you tonight. But um, honestly, right, is that when I come down to it and say uh, that that copper bus video, I was out on a limb at best, right? It's, it's You're reaching for the views. Every year you got to do that video. That's the position I'm in. Whether I want to or not, I got to say, well, it's this or that. Well, sometimes if you know the team's going to be crap, you maybe say we're trying to draft first overall. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. But we haven't had to say that about the Edmonton Oilers in a long, long time, right? Even when we ended up getting Philip Broberg, we didn't have to say the Oilers are going to be a lottery team. It was just, we're going to be challenging for a playoff spot. And if not, we'll get a pretty good draft pick, case in point. But now where we sit after all is said and done, friends, is this cup and bust thing that I went out on a limb with is now 16 wins away from happening between Monday, April 17th and sometime prior to June 17th. The only thing I will say is I have myself double booked on June 14th potentially. So we'll have to see just how much you guys can demand my time away from the other side of this uh, whole YouTube thing that you now know about. Um, but yeah, no, you know what? It's going to be an absolute magical run and I cannot wait to be a part of it because I could not have imagined the regular season would be this special. And when we get back to it, the matchup, the LA Kings, right? Is it is going to be a fun time to face them in the playoffs again. Last year, you want to talk about a series that roped me right back into the emotions of being right on the strings of an Oilers fan. Well, guess what? That's exactly what did it for me. That LA Kings series brought back to life so much passion, so much everything. You can go back and watch the video on Dolan TV here before I came back to doing content full time. You can go watch me run out of bogeys in Airdrie, absolutely maniacally yelling and screaming that the Oilers had done it in game seven to beat the LA Kings in advance to the Battle of Alberta. It was uh, like, I mean, the people at the bar standing out there, you know what? Must have thought I was absolutely nuts, but hey, you know what? That video got some love, and I mean, it, it just showed that to me, I still had the passion for exactly why I'm doing this kind of thing because I, I guess I'm meant to be at this point because it's something that you can't take it away from me, right? I tried to quit, and something like that sucked me right back in just like that. So I look forward to bringing it to you, friends. We'll have more content tomorrow. We'll have more content on Sunday. And we'll really get to the nitty gritty of everything here coming very soon. But friends, for now, I'm going to head to bed tonight. I'm Tyson. This is Stalin TV. I am up on Oda here.